Once upon a time, in a YouTube country far, far away, there lived a farmer just living his happy YouTube life, until one day he discovered that all his revenues were down. So he decided to go to the market to sell some of his goods. He brought a fox, a chicken and a sack of grain, all to be sold. On his way to the market, he had to cross a river on a small boat. The boat was very small and the farmer could only bring one item at a time across. The problem was that the fox was a bit naughty and he wanted to eat the chicken whenever he got a chance. And the chicken on the other hand had no interest in the fox whatsoever. He had his mind set on the grain. When left unattended he would surely eat the whole sack. So here's the riddle. How did the farmer get all the items across in one piece? So there is a farmer who needs to bring a fox, a chicken and a sack of grain across the river. Now the problem is that the chicken will eat all the grain as soon as it gets the chance and the fox on the other hand will eat the chicken. The farmer can only bring one item across the river at a time. Let's take a look at the schematic. Everything is built around an Arduino Nano. Output D9 is connected to a speaker using a transistor and this will be used to produce sounds and the sounds are stored on an SD card uh, and all sounds are in a WAV format and at this point in time I'm using 8-bit uh, sounds, uh, 10 kilohertz sample rate but other options are available. I open D6 is used to drive some pixel LEDs I use WS2812B LEDs but you can use different LEDs although you might have to reconfigure the firmware for that. The LEDs are used to indicate the position of the items, uh, what side of the river they are on, and of course where the boat is at. I used uh, seven different I opens uh, for the switches and each switch operates uh, an item, send it to the other side of the river using the boat or it is used to send the boat back and forth without an item. The whole unit is battery powered using a 9 volt battery. Um, it has an onboard regulator to convert that 9 volt into 5 volts that is needed for the Arduino Nano. And that's all there is to say to this schematic. It's uh, straightforward and quite easy. A pre-assembled PCB is available in my Tindy store. I'll put the link down below. That's it for hardware. Everything else is dealt with in the software. And we'll go to that next. This is a good time to talk about my sponsor, PCBWay, who sponsored this project. You want to make a cool looking project using some electronics, but they often end up looking like this. Or like this. Fortunately, there is a way to make them look very professionally and economically. You can do it with PCBWay, whether it's a school project or a professional grade project. PCBWay has all the services you need to create your project at the best price. So instead of uh, going to the software uh, in detail, I just uh, made a summary at the beginning of the, at the start of the software. And basically what the code does is this. First it includes libraries. Then I define some sound files to be played later. Um, sound files are stored on the SD card, by the way. Then I define buttons. I define items and itemlets. And then uh, in the setup loop, uh, in the setup uh, loop that runs one time, I call it loop, but basically it's not a loop. It just runs one time. So let's just change that like this. In the setup, it does. Um, uh, I initialize the default position of each item, I play a welcome sound and then basically uh, it goes to the main loop which indeed is a loop and it repeats and each time it does it reads the switches and it responds accordingly to the switches. Now then I have several functions um, depending on what switch has been pressed. Yeah, uh, the, the boat will move from one side to the other, side 1 to side 2 or side 2 to side 1. Uh, same goes for an item, if I press a switch near an item, uh, the item goes from side 1 to side 2 or from side 2 to side 1. And whenever the boat is moving halfway 
across the river, I will do a check for unwanted conditions. And unwanted conditions are basically situations in which um, the fox is left unattended with the chicken, which will result in a chicken be eaten by the fox or uh, a chicken that is unattended with a sack of grain because the chicken loves grain and that's also a no-go and then when that happens it plays in a, a, well, a sad sound it plays the sound accordingly whatever you put on the SD card the sounds I use are included uh, by the way and if you succeed in doing the game completely and you you manage to bring all items across the river there's a little victory sound and a victory dance which results in let's flashing uh, among the display and basically that's it and all of that what I do here is in this code all of it is available for download on my github and it just gives you an idea of the the length of the code it's not that long it's about I think 300 lines of code which a lot of uh, similarities because we have many items and they all do similar things so that's it and you put this in your Arduino uh, a little thing you should know uh, I use an Arduino Nano and the one I had was in all types and I had to set my program with the Arduino ISP and use the old bootloader but maybe if you have a new one and you cannot get a load try using the different one this one and that's it